Hello everyone, Jake here. Today we're going to turn this bowl blank into a bowl. We make it on a show called Saturday Morning Cartoons. You can see that in the background there. Every Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. Central Time. This was won by Martin. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn this bowl and give it to Martin. As you can see here, the center of that is not going to be balanced. So I put a cup in the center of that when I pour that blank and I didn't have it center of the mold so that causes that to be unbalanced and now we have to go ahead and clean out the middle of that first to make it round so we we can get up some speed and now we can flatten off the top of the bowl so we can flip it back around in the cold jaws so that we can put a mortise or a tendon on the bottom to straighten out the inside of this bowl I'm using a combination of a number one hollower and a mid-size finisher and I also like to call that just a circle cutter they all have negative rake uh, carbides on them all my resin projects I use uh, negative rake and what I'm doing here is I'm just getting I'm rounding the top of the bowl and I'm gonna slant it in a little bit just so it helps us hold in the cold jaws a little bit better when we turn it around now we just need to flip this thing around in the cold jaws and I do have to uh, get those feet and adjust them one you'll see here in a little bit and you'll see the camera magic right here <laughs> I went ahead and put that out one and uh, put it in there support it and now we can put a tenon on the bottom of it so we can put it in the jaws and be more safe I'm gonna use the finisher or the circle cutter to go ahead and flatten off the bottom of this bowl I like to keep in mind that the, I want the bowl to sit on the outside next to the edge at the, at the end of this whole thing. So I'm not going to take off too much on the outside, but I'm going to go a little bit deeper in the center because that's where we're going to put our tenon and that's where I'm going to uh, finish it out at the end of this thing. When you're putting in your mortise or tenon for your dovetail, you can use a detailer or a microfine detailer. I just happen to have the negative rake on the microfine detailer. so. That's what I'm going to use on this one and you just get it dug to where your jaw is going to fit in there nice and secure. We're going to finish this later so we can go ahead and put it, put it in a chuck right now. I can't say enough about this Easy Wood Tools Easy Chuck. You just put the little tool in there and take these jaws off, put the other ones on and you can get right back to work. I can't say enough about it. It's super convenient and I'll have links to the chuck and some of the jaws and some of the other tools I use below. So go check them out. And I'll also take this opportunity to tell you thanks for watching and go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment after the video, pretty please. Now let's get to turning this thing. This thing's already way more balanced and I can have way more speed than I did on my last bowl because I already balanced the inside of this thing on that first step. So now it's uh, pretty easy to get the outside of this thing round. And now we know what I'm waiting for the whole time is this next shot. <laughs> Normally when I have these hybrid blanks to turn, I really don't know what I'm going to go for until I get it round and then I get the wood exposed so I can see where the wood's going to be at and where the resin's going to be at and kind of how the patterns are going. I really don't know until I, until I get there, but as you can see right here, the wood is stabilized and it's super, super dusty. So I wear Airshow Pro um, all the time now. I got it a couple of months ago and I've, I wear it all the time. Even when I'm just sanding, uh, just in the shop, I'm at the sanding table or whatever I use it. It's, it blows cool, cool air on your face and it is super cool. At this point I can see where the wood's gonna be at and I can see where the resin's at and I kinda have a shape in my head. So I just start taking material away until I get to that shape. And on this particular project, I really don't like the pattern that the resin is making right now. But as you can see on the sides, on the top and the bottom of the bowl, you can kind of see swirling. And on the, in the middle right there, 
It's just up and down. Now the swirling was something that I noticed and it was bugging me, but I'm worried about I'm also worried about the shape of the bowl too, so I go ahead and refine the shape how I want it. And then I take a little break, eat a sandwich, and then I come back and I dig a little deeper and and keep the same shape. I just kind of bring everything down a little bit. And now I'm gonna have my swirling that I wanted. We'll see those awesome swirls soon enough, but right now it's time to hollow out this bowl. And this might sound funny, but my main objective right now is to not wreck this bowl. We went through all the trouble. We w it's been on the live show. I'd stabilized the wood. We casted it together. This guy's expecting it. We give it to him. So I don't want to make a funnel out of this thing or go through the side. We've dug in pretty far on the side, so I don't want to make a funnel. So I'm just going to make a transition, a nice transition from the bottom to the side and from the top to the side. I'm going to go ahead and sand this thing. We're going to start at 120 and then go to 240, 320, and we're going to end at 400 grit. And then we're going to go to, to Yorkshire grit. But here is my favorite part right here, denatured alcohol after the sanding. And there's those swirls. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I kept turning a little bit further to get those swirls out. The next step in this process is going to be using Yorkshire grit or an abrasive paste. We're going to get some and rub it on there and then we're going to turn on the lathe and work it in until, until we feel like it's worked in all the way and you can feel it whenever you're finished. And then you get a clean paper towel and wipe all the excess Yorkshire grit off and until you have no more coming out on your paper towel and then you're done. We're going to end up buffing this project off with the buffing wheels that attach the lathe, but they won't fit inside that bowl. So I, ha I get a drill and I have buffing wheels that attach to the drill and I buff out the inside with that. I do all three steps in that also, but that's just something you need to keep in mind when you're going to buff is will, will the buffing wheels even fit in there and you might have to come up with al alternative ways to get it done. I'm pretty satisfied with this project so far. Now I just need to take it off of there, change these jaws over back to the cold jaws and then mount it up there. I always put a paper towel on the bowl or the whatever I'm turning on there because those, those feet that are on the cold jaws will leave a mark on it if you don't. So I just put a paper towel on there and it seems to protect it just fine. I'm gonna cut slow and easy and I'm gonna leave the tailstock up as long as I can. And then when I remove it, I'm going to go even slower and easier and just finish out the bottom of this thing. We're going to go ahead and do the same process we did before. I'm going to start sanding with 120, 240, 320, and then 400, do the Yorkshire grit. And then next thing you know, we have a beautiful bottom of this bowl. And now we can go to the buffing wheels. And now we're at the buffing wheels, super easy. It's three step process, just try not to let it uh, jerk it out of your hand. It, it'd be kind of a shame at the last minute to throw this thing across the shop, but let the wheels do the work. Don't let it stay in one spot too long. And next thing you know, you're going to have a beautiful bowl that we can give to Martin. Uh, thank you, Martin. Let's uh, go down to the comments below and tell Martin congratulations for, for winning this bowl. And we appreciate all the support he gives. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Y'all be good. Mm -hmm.